Okay, so this is called Add Subtract Preview, and you've got your file from Classroom, and what we want to do is we want to add the cells together, not add the numbers. So right here in the B column, I've clicked in B7 because that's where we want to put uh, the answer. Okay, so I'm going to scroll on down here and make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so we do not want to do 4 plus 5 plus, sorry, 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3. We want to add the cell names together. So we've clicked where we want the answer to go. And this is, seems backwards, but in, when we're writing an equation, an equation, we start with the equal sign. So we're going to type in an equal sign. You can see down here at the very bottom next to this FX, we've, we've typed an equal sign. You can also see that it's in the box. Okay, so the first cell that we want to include in our equation is B2. So we're going to type B2 and then shift and the plus sign so that we get a plus sign. If you don't hold the shift, you get an equal sign. Okay, we want to add B3 plus B4 plus B5 and we want to do one more plus B6. Now we're in B7, so if we add B7 to our equation and we're in B7, it'll say there's an error there. Okay, so we've got, review it, B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6. It's down here at the bottom. It's also in the cell. Okay, and then hit enter, and the answer is 15. Now you might be thinking, well, I could have done that in my head and just put the answer 15 in there. The reason why you want to add the cell names and not the numbers is, let's say, for example, that our number in B2 changes and gets updated and we go from 4, maybe it becomes 44. If I type in, if I change that and then I hit enter, watch your answer. It automatically updates the answer. If we had just put 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3, and then that four had changed to a 44, this would still say it was 15 because it still thinks you're adding four plus one plus five plus two plus three, okay? But by putting the cell name in there, it keeps it up to date. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna turn that back to four and hit enter, goes back to 15. Click in the next uh, yellow box where we want the answer. There's a faster way you can do this. Always start with your equal sign. If you don't want to uh, type in D2, you can actually just Touch D2 and it puts it in there. Plus D3, plus, oops, I hit delete. D3 plus D4 plus D5 plus D6. Don't do D7. 29. Okay, and the cool thing about this is that when you get into these bigger numbers like this one down here, it is not any harder. Equals this plus this plus this, plus this, plus this. Oops, look, I have a, pl a plus sign at the end. And then hit enter, and it tells you it's uh, 19,087,632. This one down here, write an equation that uses subtraction to figure out how much money you have after you purchase a new video game. So obviously that'd be exactly the same thing as what we're doing, except use a minus sign equals C20 minus C21, hit enter, you have $32.57 left, okay? So, uh, write equations that add the cells together, not the amounts in the cells that add the cells together. When you get done, turn this in.